So today we're going to see how much faster this Asus Wi-Fi 6 PCIe card is compared to a regular USB little drive from Asus. Um, so this is my current speed. Uh, and we'll test it again once we swap the card. So what I'm using now is just like a little Asus USB, uh, USB Wi-Fi chip, which probably does not do Wi-Fi 6 and um, maybe not Wi-Fi 5 for that matter. But I will put the part number in the description. This was managing to get 86, almost 87 download megabytes per second and an 80 megabytes per second upload speed. So not too shabby for a little um, flush kind of like USB mount, but it does take up a USB slot. And because it doesn't have Bluetooth either, um, I have another one of these that I use for Bluetooth, which obviously not the greatest. This one has Bluetooth 5.0 integrated. Um, as well as Wi-Fi 6 technology and external antennas and a magnetic base. It's like a, it's a serious upgrade. All right, let's check it out. So it's fun to try and open these. There we go. This is the PCIe board. Comes in electromagnetic, uh, electrostatic protective bag. Fantastic, and a bunch of goodies. An extra PCIe plate. USB header cable. The extension cable. And the two antennas, which you could just plug right into the back. If you wanted to, uh, we'll try in both ways, see how it works out. Then it does come with uh, a support CD, which you can just download the driver if you already have internet. Uh, the IMP warranty, da 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 da. And then make sure you register anyway. So there's the magnet. These two connect down here. And then this would go here. Nice and easy, gold contact. I'm actually gonna run these off the back here first. And this is for the Bluetooth. I don't think, uh oh. I don't think that worked out. So hopefully you have an extra slot for this on your motherboard. Um, if you have a full-size motherboard, a gaming motherboard, you might be okay. Um, now, I should have de-static myself, but here we are anyway. It's already done. This is for a micro case, I'm assuming. You can take this off and swap it for smaller cases, but I have a full-size case, so I don't need that. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty sweet. Let's see, where does this connect? Back here. Where to put that? And then we'll connect these here. Yeah, maybe something like that. So if you're like me, you're probably running out. If you have a graphics card, you may not want to put it right there in front of it, but you could 
I would put it down there. See, I've kept this one away from it. I have plenty of, you see down there, USB ports, um, connections for that. It'll be very close to power the Bluetooth. Um, now this is something cool. If you haven't seen this before, this is an M.2 drive adapter. So it goes right into the PCI and it, and it allows me to run an M.2 drive. So I have my boot system on the first M.2 drive and then a second one for games, a larger one for games to run fast games and stuff and different software quickly. And in addition to that, I still have hard drives in the back, but those are mostly just for storage. Uh, beauty of filming this is that I was able to see where it went. I actually look back and it actually crawled itself right into there. So I pulled it out, screwed it in, and now we have to just connect this USB header. And we should be in the money. Any one of these should do. Let's go with this one. Right here. Okay, that's in. There's no like click or anything like that. <clears throat> so now with just the antennas plugged into the back, we're at almost 300 up download and, and 264 upload. That is fantastic. Um, let's attach this thing and see if it changes anything. Okay, so we've got it secured. And it's just been how strong is the magnet? You want to know? It's pretty good. I mean, so this is not even, it still sticks to it. Um, and if you were to, for example, just put it here in the corner, that's, that's held on pretty good. So it's a little faster. Um, not like yikes faster, but probably just picking up a little bit better of a signal. So definitely faster. I'm definitely gonna leave it on. Um, but if you're, if you're in a pinch and you have to put it in the back, also not a bad, big deal. Looking at the back, see the cables are in here and then it just runs to the front. It's a pretty short cable. Um, so it's pretty much all you're gonna get it is to go on top of your box unless your your box is small and sitting on your desktop somehow and then you wanted to just have it on your desk, that might work also, but definitely if you have a standing desk, uh, that's not gonna sit on your desk. Yeah, it's not gonna be able to go up and down with the desk. It's so far so good. Also for those that are wondering, I, I have an Asus motherboard and um, this worked plug and play. There was no driver needed. Uh, there was no setting up. The Bluetooth works and uh, the Wi-Fi works instantly and it recognized that it was Wi-Fi 6 and that I was gonna be getting significantly faster speed. So um, that's awesome. And yeah, check it out if you have an Asus motherboard.